on stage for an audience. Karen taking ballet lessons. Well, we're going to see their Penzer Kazern school play now. Me with the titling. Tommy in 1971 would have been six years old. And that's Karen in the middle there in her red coated chocolate soldier toy soldier ballet. Very good, Karen. There she goes. That's right here in the front, I believe. Oh, she does a good job. Karen, you're going to love these. If you ever get and there's Michael in his part of the play. He's in his pajamas. And he, I think he's singing I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus underneath the mistletoe last night. These, these movies come out better on television, uh, on taping, than they do in, uh, in real life. It's a very dark scene. The movies came out quite good, the taping. I'm going to check the, uh, the filter now for a moment, folks. That was Adri and Michael Karen I'm along with us. I think that's Stephanie with the hat on there. This is a 700, soon to be, gosh, going on 800 year old cloister. Oh, and there's Folke riding on Michael's new banana seat bicycle that we got by the, got from Bill Rotgaver. It was a three-shift bike with a, a back seat on it. We took that to Paris. She just went by the um, little red Fiat 850. Michael's getting on his bike now. Okay, Michael, get up that hill. Michael's giving him a big push. This is the dirt path street that went up to the top of Hasenhof. Those are wheat fields in the right season. We lived right in the middle of a farmland here. Beautiful country. Got some nice odors to it, too, when they fertilized. Looking good, Michael. There he goes, racing down the hill. Taking these movies from our balcony, second floor balcony in Waldenbuch. And now we're going to take in the Rotenberg Fasching Parade, I believe. Herrenberg, 16 kilometers one way, and Rotenberg is only a kilometer from where we are. Nixon's visit to Peking, it says. This is when uh, Nixon was president and was making overtures to the communist, communist government. Some of the beautiful costumes that they'd wear, sheepskins. There's the Nixon costume, guy with a rubber mask. Some of the Shriner-like guys in these Fasching parade. This is on the Necker River. We had come here with the regular 8 movie camera a year before with Mrs. Moulier. We've got movies of the same parade. There's some of the monsters, the Fasching Parade.
This is about a 30 minute ride from Waldenbuch as I recall, out in the countryside. And they'd throw candy. This is probably similar to the Lent parades they have in New Orleans. Mardi Gras. This is German's Mardi Gras equivalent. Costumes and parade and things that are handed down through the generations. Guy with a top hat sitting on an outhouse chair. Very traditional. I've seen these masks all over southern Germany. It must have represented a monster type. Keep away the monsters, maybe. And this is the end of the parade. People are starting to mill around. Oh, there's the band. Kids band. Instead of having high school marching bands, they have flashing bands. And there's the king and the queen and his entourage in the court of the parade. Beautiful costumes. Velvet. Horses beautifully groomed. This goes back to the original costumes of about four or five hundred years ago. There's Adri in her red coat. Little Red Riding Hood, Margie, Karen, Michael, and there's Tommy with his red jacket behind. Little Pony, they get pony rides. It's probably the Prince and Princess. Some of the entourage, they, they grow beards for these. I think that's a fake beard there. Green costumes of the, the serfs and the royalty. It's supposed to be a peasant with the one of the people in the parade, like a witch costume, witch's hat. And there's my Loden coat, GF, with his kids, Tommy, Karen on the left, Margie and Michael on the right. My Fu Manchu mustache there, it looks like. There's the band behind us. Oh, we're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Stuttgart Ballet did a big bad wolf scene here. This is um, this is Little Red Riding Hood, is what it is. They, they took some modern music and they created a ballet for kids. It was Christmas time. I think it was a special children's performance for a few days in the Stuttgart, Stuttgart Ballet. John Cranko's crew. We took the kiddies. And I shot these movies. And here's Tommy! Margie. I think Margie actually fell asleep under her bed. And the kids were playing and she got up and she was a little angry at first and then she gave her rob rabbit dance and rabbit hop and she said you guys woke me up how come you guys woke me up I was sleeping and she's got her doll don't hurt my doll Michael oh now she's mad I think she's gonna <laughs> what is she doing Karen sitting on the bed Margie Tommy Michael hi Margie Gosh, Nikki's going to be five, six years old in a couple of years. There's Tommy Boy. A little sleepy. Giving her big brother a big kiss. That was Michael's little girl, Margie. Karen looking very wistful. There's that moony look in her eye there. Moonstruck. Yeah, Bob Moran was an assignment in White Plains. In White Plains, came over on a trip. He asked what he could bring. I said it'd be great to have a steak. And I forgot about the comment. About a month later, when he came over to the States, he brought with him a four-pound sirloin from his butcher upstate in New York somewhere. He had it frozen, packed in dry ice, some of the dried flowers, and we had a fantastic steak dinner. We ate like kings. Could use one of these those over here in Tokyo. And that's what I'll do next time is bring a steak back in my briefcase. Here's the GF with his Fu Manchu. Gonna cut up that steak. It was good, let me tell you. <laughs>